While the Proteus is open, click on the Pick from Libraries button and search for the Arduino Uno. Simply write UNO. Double click to add to the list. Now search for the relay. Click OK. Now register. Double click. And now 2N2222 NPN transistor. And double click to aid. Now select Arduino Uno. Rotate clockwise. Select 2 in 2 2 2 2 2 in PN transistor. And relay. And place a resistor. Now connect one side of the relay coil with the collector of the 2 in 2 2 2 2 2 in PN transistor. Select resistor with pin 13 of the Arduino. Connect this with the base. Now click on the terminal mode and select ground. Now select this ground with the emitter of the 2 in 2 2 2 2 2 in PN transistor. Now select power, click and write plus 12 volt. Plus 12 volt. And connect this. Now again click on the component mode and click on the pick from libraries button and search for the lamp. This is the animated light bulb double click to aid. Select this lamp. Connect with the normally open of the relay and now click on the terminal mode. Select plus 12 volt. Now select ground. So now our designing is completed. Now open the Arduino IDE. Wait for a while. Now let's write a program. So integer relay equals to 13. So this instruction means that relay will be connected with pin 13 of the Arduino you know. So the variable names actually follow some rules. No numbers are allowed in the beginning of the variable names and no spaces are allowed. And uh, make sure that you don't repeat the same uh, variable names so now wide setup function and then wide loop function now now my friends every Arduino and uh, mega program has at least two functions which are the wide setup function and uh, the wide loop function. So wide setup function executes only one time when the Arduino or Mega Pro board is powered up. So pin mode pin mode relay output. So pin mode is a function which uh, takes two arguments is the input the, the pin number or the or the pin name and the status which is the output or input so is uh, we are using this relay to control a lamp so that's why uh, it is set to the output and let's keep this lamp off by default so for this we use an, uh, a function which is a dig digital write so digital write relay low and now then starts a while loop function. White means that this function is not uh, returning any value and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments as the input. So and this function uh, runs infinite time. So let's write digital
digital right relay high and then let's use uh, a delay of one second then delay 1000 milliseconds which is equal to one second and then again digital right relay low and uh, then again there's a delay of uh, 1000 milliseconds which is equal to one second so uh, this program will turn on and turn off the limb after every one second so now the program is uh, ready now let's uh, compile this and check for any errors So my friends as you can see that there are no errors so first of all click on the file and then preferences and make sure you check these two boxes the compilation and the upload and then click ok and when you compile then you get this hex link so just simply select this and uh, press ctrl c on the keyboard to copy and now open the proteus design double click on the arduino and paste this into the program file text box so paste and ok and now start the simulation by clicking on the play button and now you can see the the, the lamp turns on and turns off after every one second so you can actually uh, use this relay to control AC light bulbs or you can uh, use uh, this to control DC motors, AC motors. I have so many tutorials in which I have used relays in which I performed the driver design calculations. For example, if you want to calculate that uh, which transistor will be used to control this relay, which uh, in this tutorial I'm using two and two 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 in between transistors. So watch my other tutorials in, uh, in which I perform the design calculations. I hope you liked today's episode, like and share my videos with your friends and see you in next episode and thanks for watching.